Hey yo everyone, this is a Happy Anime Cafe Manager here with another Let's Play for Fire Emblem at Three Houses. Harvest. Okay, so I got three carrots, chickpeas, cabbage, and onion. So I can only put one seed at a time. You offer the seeds. Check back when you, when you next explore the me monastery on a free day. Predicted yield. Professor level too low. Poured out of mid water. Dormitory first floor. The next mission is a real battle. This isn't child's play. Come see me for advice. Gerald's mercenaries, Church of Sarah's soldiers, Sarah's mercenaries. That's what the rewards are. Is is this what what you call batet? Is a reward a battalion? Yeah, there's supposed to be a, a battalion mechanic in this game. But I haven't fi figured what, what that is yet. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. <coughs> By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Alright, so I've done everything I can. Alright, view quest. A real battle this month, huh? I hear even the Knights of Saros are involved. I never taught you much about tactics, but there's a primer in my room. Give it a read. Starting with this month's mission, you can now lead the battalion in the battle. Search for the tactics primer in the captain's quarters and for per use to get it up to speed. This is the captain's quarters. Yeah, but where the shit is the captain's quarters? They, they don't tell you that or indicate it on the map. Can't remember. Yeah, I was hoping to tell me uh, what, in which direction is his quarters. The sauna. Black Eagle classroom. Oh, okay, so the courtyard isn't isn't that far. Golden Deer classroom.
eyelid just friggin' itches. Okay, there's just the front entrance. Maybe the captain's course is somewhere on this floor. Like, geez, why is it? Why did make it look look like you could go up there? It's a real tease. Ah, oh, here. Okay, the captain's quarters. Uh, captain's quarters. Tactics primer. A book contains the basics of tactics. It doesn't look like it's been read much. I should show some knights to help you. They'll, they'll be deployed in your next real battle. I'm sure you'll be able to make good use of them. Access the menu that you use store and take or swap items for, from for your units. Items that cannot be carried will be sent to the convoy. Access the abilities and combat arts and menus to equip your units with what they have learned. Use the battalion menu to assign battalions to your units. Use the reclass menu to switch units class to any for which they are certified. Classes that class of the unit has mastered are marked with a star. Okay, there's a bulletin board. There's some hair, hair in the device. It looks like just my hair. What is the meaning of this? What could this crest be? Maybe I should just put put another hair sample. Have you guys ever tried putting another sample? This will end today's free time. Do you want to proceed? Yeah, there's no nothing else for for me to do here, but I've already used up my activity points. Monday. Don't tell me. No one bothered to show you the standard procedure for lectures. I guess it's up to me to save the day. When you instruct your students, they gain experience as their skill levels increase. They will gain access to new abilities and combat arts. The number of people you can instruct is indicated by your activity points at the top of the screen. When you set up a group task, the students will, you assign will continue the task until you change it. After the first round of instructions, each month your students may come to you with a question. They will be motivated if they like your answer. Skill goals. 
be sure to first check on our study goals. After all, students will want to prioritize studying things that relate to their goals. Students study on their own and earn the skill experience according to their skill goals. Results are reported at the end of each week. You can alter students' goals at any time using goals menu. It's probably easier to get good results if you instruct students based on their interests and specialties. But that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach things that don't relate to someone's goals. Not by a long shot. By overcoming their weaknesses, some students may develop an interest in new fields. The, a three-star mark next to the skill indicates that you will unlock a, a budding tad talent after a certain amount of instructing. Once you unlock a budding talent, that person will go to a, excel in a particular skill. They may even learn a new ability or combat art. A student's study goals may need to be updated based on their learnings and experiences. It's an important part of being teach to counsel students like that. As students improve from instructing and per personal study, they may approach you with suggestions for new goals. Whether you to accept the suggestions or not is completely up to you. Feel free to guide your students along the paths of your own choosing. How well their tutoring goes will depend on a student's motivation. It's possible that interacting with students on a regular basis will raise their motivation. Maybe. Then again. What do I know? In any case, make sure to keep an eye on how motivated everyone is. You can instruct uh, students with high motivation more frequently. One way to increase motivation is to interact with your students around the monastery. Students are encouraged to partake in various activities around the monastery. Students work together, it will give them a chance to interact and maybe even help them achieve better results. You can assign one group e ta one group task each week. Students who take part will earn a skill experience based on your choice. You can also get a golden resource source or get golden resources by completing these tasks. The result of the group task will depend on the students' strengths, weaknesses, and affinity for one another. Certification exams. Have you heard about the monthly certification exams? If you want to become a certain class, you have to pass the certification exam for it. That means training up on the required skills so you can pass. Don't slack when it comes to teaching your students what they need to know to pass their certification exams. When you pass a certification exam, you could change to a new class. Benefits of higher tier cl classes include increased stats and growth rates. Begin lesson plan. Begin this week's instruct. Select a unit to tra train them and improve their skills. Yeah, I'm gonna need Hilda for 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 the next battle. Heavy armor.
beginner, intermediate, classes, advanced. Okay, so seems neutral towards me. able to use a train bow but she's more interested in swords but not bows not tones but what unit could use both swords and tones wants to use a lot. She's more interested in using a lance. We have four sessions. Professor expertise. Okay, so strength, authority, weakness, strength, reason. So he looks like he might may make a good good may mage, so base plus four Professor Expertise Authority Swords and Bows. Perfect. I can't believe I got it right. Praise. Motivation wow. increase. I just got lucky. Swords and bows, huh? Base plus four. Okay, you have one session left. So far, I can only use both, so... Group tasks, stable do work together to clean stables and feed horses, weeding, 
work together to secure skies, raising flying skills. Let's see. Lawrence. Expected results. Execute. Select the unit to set their goals. Custom focus. Authority. Let's do this again sometime. You don't have enough activity points. Begin lecture. Professor, may I ask you something? Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, to be continued, baby.